So, so all of this kind of happened. Uh, tell, tell us who you are. I'm Katie Levinson. I'm one of the directors of the dojo. Okay, so, so all of this kind of went down about six to eight weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, and the city said you got to raise two hundred fifty thousand dollars to make these improvements and do whatever you got to do. So, what in terms of money has anyone responded coming out of that? Yeah, you we've had gotten any... really, really good community response. We got uh, about twenty thousand dollars of Andreessen Horowitz. Um, they've been really awesome, and then we got a 10 grand matching challenge from Palantir. For every dollar donated by someone, they would donate a dollar as well. Uh, we started running a charity run in your underwear, uh, which has already raised over $1,000. Perfect for programmers. Yeah, you know, actually, <laughs> I'm amazed at the ratio. It's like three to one girls to guys right now. Wow. I, I'm totally, I was not, that's not the demographic we usually have at the dojo, but like, cool, Apparently, you know? yeah. uh, <laughs> Whatever it takes. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people are really coming out of the woodwork for the cause. So we got about $35,000 in cash right now. We have another about thirty grand in handshakes that we got to firm up. And that's not bad for a month, you know? Yeah, totally. Uh, and and what, do you, what is the timetable on it? Is it just, hey, whenever you can do it, you're paying rent on the space. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean let me just talk about the sun. I feel bad yeah, squinting yeah. in the camera. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, but, uh, so we have, uh, and basically, it's like we're, we're going to continue to pay rent on more than half of our facility that we can't get into until all the improvements are done. Right now, this, we're negotiating with the city on exactly, you know, there's a maximum amount that, the, that they can nail us with by law, yeah. and then there's how much they're going to enforce, um, and that's an ongoing negotiation. We're also getting a new water uh, main laid, negotiating that right now so that we can do a sprinkler system because the infrastructure, I mean, we've we've really upgraded the infrastructure of the whole area. We got fiber run here to this, to this complex. This complex didn't have fiber. Now we're getting a new water main run, so like it's Opportunities like this are a great way to get somebody to pay for city infrastructure improvement. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're certainly making, we're certainly increasing the land value around here. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so you, so, so you're, so you're at about 175 to a little under 200,000 still that you need to raise, right? Yeah. 150 to 175,000. And where do you think that's going to come? Is it just going to come from donations? You guys, I mean, you guys make a little bit of money, not a significant amount, but you have members and things like that. So, so the membership really is like, uh, we, we consider that money to be uh, going into the lighting and the heating and the rent and the paper towels and the toilet paper and all that stuff. Uh, we save up a little bit, but it's really not fast enough to be responding to this need. Sure. We're actually looking to raise the quarter million dollars ourselves uh, okay. through uh, corporate sponsorships and through community generosity and running around in your underwear and uh, whatever else it takes to do that. Uh, a lot of companies are actually really looking forward to uh, using this as an opportunity to make sure people either know that they're hiring or looking for great